Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a little project using some of the bits and bobs from my uh, August, no, October, Your Creative Studio box. That's it. And I've also used a few bits from September's because they went so well. Uh, this is not my idea, this little pocket, which is so cute. I just love it. I saw this on Cheryl Wilms' site, Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique. And she got it from Rachel at Clarty Hands. I will link them both below. And it's made, this pocket, you've got two pockets there. Well, I've got tags, two little pockets there. Well, I've just popped some little bits of ephemera from the Your Creative Studio box. They are the same. And, yeah, it's all made from one sheet of A4 or letter-sized paper. You'll get a slightly different size. You could make it from any size paper, really. Yeah, and Rachel did design it to be sewn into the signature of a journal, uh, which you can do that or it can be a completely separate piece. I've left the back blank so I'm thinking I may stick it down. Right, let's show you how it's made. I did do it slightly different and I've got a feeling they're going to kick themselves when they see the slight difference I've made because I do when... Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, some are, it's like, oh wow, why did I think of that? We'll see anyway. Right, I've got my sheet of A4. First thing I did is I just folded it up about yay much. It, the measurements are all yay much. There's no exact measurements. Then I just like to fold that down a little bit more because I just like the top of my pocket. This is the little inside pocket that you saw. I just like it to be a bit reinforced. So I'm just going to fold it down again. So that's change number one. But that's that's not rocket science, is it? In fact, none of it's rocket science. And I'm making an awful mess of folding that. Yay, did it. Right, then just grab that. And I popped it inside there. And then I folded. Wee. We've got to get wee in, haven't we? There we go. Then fold the whole thing in half. Gonna want to crinkle and wrinkle. Yeah, they also use coffee dyed paper. As you know, I'm just I'm putting off coffee dyeing any more paper as long as possible, so I'm using this. Then fold that bit down and just so that it's gonna work a little bit better. Why have I got that stuck to my scissors? I'll show you from this side. You can see I've already wrinkled it a bit. We're just gonna cut a little V shape out there, just out of this flap bit, just to take some of the bulk out and make it fold over nicely without wrinkling and scrinkling if that's even a word. There we go. So, now I've done that, I'm just going to come in with my bone folder and make these creases a little bit more permanent and get that little bit out that's sprinkled or crinkled. There we go. I think I've made these pockets deeper than I did on the other one. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Yeah, far deeper, yeah. I, I just don't know what I've done different, but hey ho. Right, I'm now going to grab a bit of glue. And you can put a little thumb notch in these ones if you want, I decided not to. And I'm just going to pop a little bit there. And a little bit there on each of these pockets. Let's pop, just put a little bit under there, make sure it sticks down. I think I did my other one with glue stick. It doesn't really matter what you use it with. What you use with it. Use the glue of your choice. Your choice might be different to my choice. I choose my choice. <laughs> That's out of a TV programme or a film that, and I don't know which one. Right, so... I'm just gonna make sure they stick. I've got an air bubble off something in my glue again. Good job I don't need to use much of it. I seem to be having a lot of trouble with my art glitter this bottle. I don't know whether it's my tip, but it's the same tip I had on the last bottle. 
or if it is the glue or I don't know. That's enough. So we've just glued those bits down. Yeah. Just make sure it's not squidged over end and close this up because that is your pocket for your tag. And this is the bit I've done different. Uh, what the other ladies did is they folded this piece over and had to glue all the way along the bottom. And I've missed that gluing along the bottom out by tucking it inside this pocket. So yeah. Right. And that's good. Now on this one I've put some notches in here. I'm going to struggle because I've made that pocket deeper. But I'm going to use a smaller punch. I used my one and a quarter inch punch on the last one. I'm going to get one of my Didier punches. Maybe my one inch. Oops, I'm sorry I'm knocking camera. Oh, I'm trying to get my punches. Right, I'm just going to fill. Um, I think Rachel just put a, a notch on one side. Cheryl did notch all four. And I'm going to notch all four. Just going to give that another crease. Let's keep it nice. I want to not go through that pocket when I notch. So I'm just, I'm just going to do it slightly higher up. It doesn't matter that it's not middle. The world will not end. So there we go. Then you're going to have to suffer through me inking it all. Because I want a bit of ink on. Yeah, if you want to... This paper is... It's from Amazon. I'm now using the one that uh, Jane Rushton gifted to me. Jane from Crafting Kitty Cat over on Etsy. She does gorgeous digitals. I'd run out. Well, I thought I had, then I found some. Thought I were using Jane's, then realised I was using my own. So now I am using Jane's because I've run out of my own. It's it, When I first bought it, I thought, very expensive, but you don't use a lot of it, and it's nice for a change. You know, when you just want something different for a change, it gives a whole different look to a project. Right, inking mad. I think I need to put some ink on my walnut stain. I went from moaning all the time that it was too juicy, to now it seems a bit dry. So yeah, one extreme to other. I think that'll do me. Let's make sure I've got plenty on the front where I'm going to decorate. But I just really love this idea. Fabulous idea, Rachel. Absolutely love it. Right. Now, I made two tags to go inside the other one. Will they fit in this one? Yeah, they will. Uh, my others were five and a half inches by two and three quarters. So looking at that, I'm just going to do it the same again. Even though that's a smidgen different in size, not much to write home about, is it? It's all down to how big you make that in a pocket. I mean, if you want to measure it, measure it. I'm falling out with measuring lately. I'm really enjoying. It's a little bit, I don't know. I'm just enjoying not measuring everything to within an inch of its life. Right, my tags I'm making out of this. It's some coffee dyed, quite thin card. It's 160 GSM because I don't want to add too much bulk. Now, I'd already cut one of these to five and a half, I think. Had I? Because I was going to cut tags and I thought, no, don't cut tags because they might be a different size. And they are ever so slightly. So I'm cutting these five and a half by two and three quarters. And especially you ladies, gents, everyone in between and Dave. Well, Dave's not in US, is he? If you're using letter size, it's going to be a different size, isn't it? So all I did is I took my ruler, like Rachel did, and, well, you don't have to measure inside. And I just measured the length and the width and made my tag a teeny bit smaller. So that's my two tags. Is that one my reject? How have I ended up with three all the same width? That would just... weird. <laughs> Maybe you do when you cut that size paper. Right, I'm going to grab my um, little plastic card that I use to do my corners. I want to use that corner. I mean, cut round an existing tag, use a, one of them corner chompers. I've got one, but I'm using this today. 
as you can see I've got different angles cut in all four corners of this card right that's that and yes more dreaded inking Inky pinky parlevu. I've been watching Dave and he sings all the time, so now it's making me sing more. Hmm. Whee. Do you know what my kids are getting right cheeky? I'd admit, I don't know why I'd have my driving license out of my purse. I want to. Girls, shall I put this back in for you, Mum, so you don't lose it? Well, Rebecca, like, yeah, of course you can. She says, I'll put it in so that you can't see your face. I'm like, cheeky woman, cheeky child. I'm like, oh, really? She says, yeah, because you might look at it and scare yourself. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. We're still on with that Halloween joke that comes up every year about me scaring myself on ghost train when I saw myself in a mirror. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cheeky. You should be on the stage, my kids, sweeping it. Right, that's my tags inked. And I'm going to do a bit of simple collage. Simple collage. Right, I'm going to do it quite similar to this. I just really liked how that turned out. I've used the fairy sticker from the October box. Another vellum sticker. Some of the papers. And some of the little tickets. I mean, I might go on to do more on inside. I don't know. I could make a series of little tags. But we're showing you how to make the pocket, really, aren't we, today? Not all the tags. Right. I have got some of that floral paper left. This, again, is in the October box. I don't know if I want to use a different one. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that one. Make this one slightly different. The fairies and the grunge and the... Roses do go together so well. Right, this is not sticker paper. Oh, I made a mess of that. This is just scrapbook paper. So I'm just going to tear it off. I'm going to tear down there as well. I'm alternating so you get bits of what we white on and bits we out white on. And I just want to. What I did with my other two cards, let me show you. I did collage them both at the same time, even though they're different. Yeah, I've used the same three elements, but I've just stuck them on in different places. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to put on them. I've not finished them, have I? I've got some flower fairies books somewhere, some of the small ones. And I think one of those fairies, Fussy Cut, would be ideal. Oh, what I might try today is, yeah, we'll do it. I'm, I'll use one of the stamps from the Your Creative Studio box. Because they are quite gorgeous. Yeah, we'll do a stamp for each one. I'll stamp it on some different paper and we'll put that on as a focal point. Yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, crack on with collaging, because until you've collaged, you can't do that, can you, woman? I think I want a little bit of ink on here. I don't ink everything I collage with these days, but I think where we've got that white, I need to tone it down. Get a bit of ink on it. Quite rusty at collage, I haven't done any for a while. Right, get me a glue book out. Desk's just turning into a tip, isn't it? As per whenever I'm crafting, really. Right, see, so yeah, I've got my glue book and I've got my glue stick. My favourite one is my Elmer's Extreme. Love it for collage. Right. So let's get these bits stuck on. I'm liking that look of its collage, but I've got the nice edges so it's like oh my fans run out of juice yeah i'm having a uh, middle-aged moment i think it might only be seven degrees here but i've got my fan on cooling me down yeah i'm liking this look of yeah i'm not measuring it or anything i'm just doing it by eye i like that straight edge and then all the little ripped edges in between do i like it right we've got some i've got a couple of papers that that one is from the uh yeah i think i'm gonna use that one i like that color it's from the september box this is sticker paper it still tears which is good so i'm gonna tear from here i'm gonna tear some off again i like to do a bit both ways 
if you find you're getting a really big white edge if you start to tear it all the way it sort of curbs that anyway rub, rub it in half rub it in half do i even know what i'm saying and then i'm going to pop that one you know that one there that one there i've made this far too wide and it's covering all my roses up so i'm just gonna tear that down a bit might use these up front that's it liking that better yeah and i want something for the top now i've got these in again in the september box just these are just gorgeous and you've got a color that goes with everything what about that one on there that one might do me oh i do like that stripey one i do so i'm just going to rip a bit off bottom again I want it to look ripped the edge and then same on here I might put that on first this time yeah I like that smidgen of ink not loads yeah i did i did do <laughs> i nearly said i did we on purpose now <sighs> yeah but <laughs> i quite often talk to uh, Cheryl over uh, facebook video chat and quite often she's crafting i'm crafting we're not really talking and all of a sudden i'll be doing something i'll just go wee I like told you, I really do do it without thinking. Oh, I've glued that and it's sticker paper. You silly woman. So you're going to get some really sticky fingers now, aren't you? Peeling that off. Is it even going to want to peel off? Come on, peel off. You know you want to. You know you love me, really. Yeah, that's it. It's quite sticky, this. I've not any, had any trouble with it peeling up. So that's that. There we go. I quite like that. <laughs> I'm used, yeah. I've got one baby wipe, Dave. It is a biodegradable one, though, I promise you. And what I do is, I just keep squirting it with my water, re wetting it just for little bits of glue for a few days. And I'm using less of them, aren't I? So the dolphins will be safe. These are going in my compost bin, not the actual bin. Right. I need a second compost bin amount of stuff I'm putting in it lately. I really do. I might get half a dozen. I could sell compost. Because we, yeah, we use uh, a lot of vegetables. My daughter, uh, the youngest one, she counts. Uh, she's always done it. And it is nine a day now. She counts her nine a day. And if she's not had a nine a day, she'll just go and eat a chunk of cucumber and a carrot or something. And she likes to peel them. She's not keen on the skin on cucumbers sometimes either. And she'll take some of that off. I mean, I bought a kilogram bag of carrots for my Sunday lunch. Yeah, we had a Sunday lunch again for a change uh, on Friday. And when I come to do Sunday lunch, I've got three carrots left. Like, wow, that girl is really going to be able to see in the dark, isn't she? She'll end up with orange skin if she keeps eating that many carrots, though. She'll look like an umpa lumper. Then who'll be scaring themselves in the mirror? I think that will be Rachel. Right, that's them two. I quite like them. Yeah, it's a very simple, easy method of collage, that. I'd, I'd nearly say you can't go wrong. Right, that one. I've got so many different boxes in here for different rubbish. So, then I don't have to take it all down and sort it out. I'm sorting it as I go along. Right, let's collage this before we do the stamping. While I'm in collage mode with sticky fingers. So, I do like that. That's really nice. I'm just going to, oh, I've already got some ripped off. Don't rip another bit when you've already got one. I'm going to use the same formulas I use for that front. 
I'm going to put a piece up there. Yep. And what else did I use? Let's go out and look at it, shall we? I used a piece of the text. So I think I want the same text I used on the other one for this. Yeah, I like this smaller text. I don't think I need a piece that big and chunky though. So we'll tear some off to use on something else. Bit of text. Then I've used one of these tickets. Or a piece of one of these tickets, should I say. I think I want to use that end. So then we're going to have that and that. Then I've used a little bit of this green painter's paper stuff. Yeah, it's painter's masking paper. It comes on a roll. And yeah, I think I'm going to have that piece. Oop, dropped other piece on the floor. That's going to get wheeled over by my chair now and be no good to man the beast. I don't think I like that straight edge there. It needs to go. I don't think this is a straight edge collage -y bit. That's better. I wanted those flowers to get right way up and now I'm going to end up covering most of them so it really wouldn't have made a difference, would it? So glue book back out. That's it. Come out in. Yeah, I'm far enough up to be in shot. I zoomed in a little bit more. Oh, I'm just let me alt it light. It's gone very bright again, hasn't it? <clears throat> Our weather is so changeable. By this time last year it was dull every day and I really didn't have to bother too much about the light. But I do prefer to work in natural light if I can. It's better for me. I feel a little bit claustrophobic in this room if I draw a curtain. Which I do have to do in the summer. Especially when it's hot to keep that heat down. Right, this is stick paper woman. Don't forget, you don't need to put glue on it. Right, uh, I'll put this one... On first this time. My text is straightish enoughish, if that's a word. And I'm gonna ink this. Yeah, there are some beautiful fairy stickers in that your creative studio kit this month. I wish there were more of them. Oh, I could have really done with a dozen sheets of them. I think uh, I may have to track some more of those down. And we're going to bob that there. We like it. And then, yeah, again, I want a little strip of this. That looks good. So we've done just about exactly the same thing. When I first started out collaging, I used to try and copy people exactly. Well, you obviously can't copy the exact same strip, but just like the placement. And I don't, I really don't approach my collage technically. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. That's probably why. I've never learned formally how to do these things. I think you just get an idea for what looks good and what doesn't. But don't be afraid to do it wrong. Well, not wrong. If you don't like it, cover it up. You can just keep going. Put another piece of paper on top and it'll be right. It'll be right, she says. Right, where's my stickers? Oh, who shall we have on this one? Um, I've got a fair... Is that a girl or a boy? Not sure. I don't want one of these because they're looking the wrong way. I want them looking in. So it's going to be her on the leaf or her on the twig. On the twig. Fairy on a twig. So I'm, I'm going to use this one. They come off really easy, these as well. And look, they're so nice. And on to down here, so it looks like she's not just floating in midair. Oh, how nice is she? I love her. And then, when I'd done that, I just thought it needed something else. So I just stuck a mushroom sticker on. So do you know what? I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. If I can find my mushroom stickers. Oh, yeah. This is the box of gorgeous vellum stickers that came. 
let's find something. I'd forgot there were some little collage bits. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I do like that. That's the one for this. That didn't take much looking. Yeah, something I've stopped doing now is looking for hours, looking for that one perfect piece. And that was with the help of Mr. Timothy Holtz. Because he says, that's the perfect piece because you decided and you stuck it on. And he's right. Right, I find these quite difficult. I think it's easier to take the sticker from the back in. You can always use your bone folder to smooth out the wrinkle. It, look, I've wrinkled that corner, but I'm not panicking. I'm going to smooth it out with my nail. Then I'll smooth it out with my bone folder when I've got it on. Oh, don't stick it to itself, woman. Then it can be tricky. Right, that looks good. Is it straight-ish? Yes. Blind man would be glad to see it, as my mum always said. Right, I really like that. I like it as, at least as much as that one. I think they make a lovely little pair. Right, the inside, very simply, I took some of these pieces of ticket and a few bits of paper and just more strip collage. Da, 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 da. No, don't even go there. So that one can go there. That can go there. I'll ink the edges and then I'll just put a little bit of something else on with it. Back to the glue book. That page is a bit sticky now. So I'll fold it in half. And I think that can then be a bookmark. So we'll tear that out. Yeah, I'll just run around that on the same machine, decorate it somehow and it will be a bookmark. I did make some a while back and lost them. Do you know, I've just noticed these have a perforation on. I'd not even noticed that before. So, yeah, I want that there. I want to see that edge again because I like it. Where's well, perforation on these? Oh, it's there, look. Oh, they don't, they don't tear very well on perforation, but it does have one. Who knew? I certainly didn't. But I've got old dodgy eyes. I don't think I want that on. So I've got that on front. So I've just ripped it. More glue. Ooh. I'll put that there. This I love Elmer's and that's one of the reasons. Did you see I put the wrong wonk in? It does give you. It's the only glue stick I've used that has a little bit of wiggle time. It's really good. It has a bit of wiggle time. It dries mats. So if you get it where you don't want it, it's not an issue. Yeah, I love it. Right, I want some paper to go on here. So let me grab my little pile of papers from last month's box, the September one. They're just ideal, these, for collage. And they're going to last so long. Is that one a bit? Oh, I don't know. I quite like it. That one's a bit plain for here because we have got this lovely paper, haven't we? Oh, I like that one that looks like it's got some sellotape on. Yeah. I'm going to take a bit off the bottom as well. But that's not a problem. I think I want a torn edge there. Bit of ink. It's so, so quiet. <laughs> if you've ever heard that song I just started singing then, it's by Björk, isn't it? The Icelandic artist. 
<laughs> and it starts so quiet that song and then gets loud. And if my kids wouldn't get out of bed for school, I used to play it on all Alexa's in the house. Oh, sorry, I've said that word. On all Gertrude's in the house. Yeah, she's quiet today, isn't she? She didn't even prick her ears up when I said her name. I think she's going into some sort of hibernation mode. Right, where did I put the other bit I wanted to put on? Lost it. What's the one? I've got a bit of straw paper there. No, don't like it on this. There it was, wasn't it? But I think I'm just going to use this one. I like it. Yeah. Again, I want to take that straight edge off. Don't know why. I'm quite happy with straight edges on the last one, but I'm not liking them for this. Yeah, that'll do. There we go, a bit more ink. Not even ink, glue. You could try and stick it on with ink. I think if you use an acrylic paint, it'd work. But it'd be quite messy. Yeah. There we go. I quite like that. That's not complicated at all. Just that light again, it went darker. Right, oh, I'm quite happy with that one. And again, I'm going to pop some of these cards from the kit inside. They are identical, all of them. Well, they're not, it's like a thick paper. You could make gorgeous tags with those, but there's quite a few. So I'm just going to use those in there. Like I said, when these end up in projects, I may put a row of little tags in. Right, now let's get to doing some stamping for cards. I'm not going to stamp on there. I think I'm going to get some more of my coffee dyed card. That. I can use the other side of that that's a different colour. I'm going to get my stamp. No, I don't want my stamp press because they're wood stamps, aren't they? Stamp press ain't going to help you, woman. You're going to have to rely on stamping skill. Oh, that's dodgy. Right. So, we've got these. They're absolutely lovely. Got the little boy fairy and the little girl fairy. So I'm just going to stamp them and put them on. Right, I'm going to use my vintage sepia. Vintage sepia. By saying it, I'm hoping it shows itself to me. There it is. If I don't like it in vintage sepia, I'll do it again in black. And I'm using my Versafine. Fabulous stuff for this for stamping. I'm going to grab a piece of foam because stamping on foam always makes it come out a little bit better because I don't have any dedicated foam for stamping I'm going to nick the one out of my stamp mat I have got a big 12 by 12 stamp mat but yeah when have I ever got a 12 by 12 space on my desk to so use that only if I start with it on my desk right so grab my gonna go ink to stamp seems to be inking up quite well i think i will have a practice stamp yeah i'm gonna do it on book page do you know i think it might look nice stamped on book page anyway we shall see it might need to be black Oh, that's come out lovely. Yeah, black on book page would be really nice. So, from the first stamping, that were good. Lord knows how I've gone and got stamp on the corner there. Let's get that squirty baby white. There we go. Right. This is the chicken's way to stamp this. Yeah, if you stamp on a separate element, if it goes wrong, you can do another one. And you've not ruined your tag. Oh, they stamp absolutely beautifully. Really crisp, clear image. Liking that. Really liking that. And let's do the lady. I'm going to be brave and stamp her directly on. Do, 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 
do, do, do. Hold it a few seconds, let that ink transfer. That's a mistake I used to make when stamping. I used to stamp and take it off and wonder why it was just rubbish. Rubbish! Oh, look at that. First stamp on a new stamp, that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really liking it. Right, I'm just going to get my scissors and cut these out a bit freehand. With big Tim Holt says, use these for everything. They get used and not looked after and they still work a treat. If you've got Tim Holt's scissors, get them out and use them. Dave. <laughs> uh, Dash of Dave, who was saying, is Tim Holt's scissors are still pristine. He doesn't use them for anything sticky or dirty. And I'm exactly opposite with mine. Views, do, do. Okay, very brave, freehand chopping stuff. It's really not me at all. I think I've cut that one in much closer. It's not straight, but I'm liking that lately. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, right. Get rid of that. Scooch them over there. Put your stamps over here ready for cleaning. Yeah, right. All I'm going to do on these is ink the edges. I think I may mat them on... I don't know. Do they need matting? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, I think they need matting. Not perfectly though, just on something. Right, I think I'm going to get a piece of this. Yeah, that's what they need. They need to be on a piece of that. I'm just going to tear around roughly. Very roughly. Oh, that was so rough it's wonky as a donkey. I just don't like that bit there. Yeah, I like. So I'm going to ink them edges. I think I'm going to stick that to that before I peel that off. So that when I stick it on I get my fairy the right way up for starters and straight. Yeah? Yeah, and I want that point at the bottom. So I'm gonna art <laughs> I'm gonna juggle with glow. Come on, you can do it. Let's get a pin. Because what's chances of me finding a pin that's supposed to go in glue bottle in all this mess? That's too big. Glue drama again. Oh, here it is. The idea of these glue dangles is you put them back in and don't forget. Yeah. I think with me it just means it's easy to find my glue on me. At my pin on my desk. Oh, there's no wonder my glue don't come out, is there? Come on, woman. I'm going to take the lid off just in case it's an air bubble. I can't see one. Oh, actually, I can see one. No, it was just glue. No air, just glue. Let's see if all that messing and faffing. Yeah, it's working a treat now. Until I dropped it again. No, I really am having issues with my art glitter. I don't even know why. Like I say, it's something to do with not print pinning, I would imagine. Put pin in. Silly woman. Right, he's the right way up. Pop him on there. Yeah. Then I'll peel the backing off the sticker and I can put the whole thing on the tag. I think I want him near at bottom and other one near at top. Yeah, I quite like that. Mm. 
So. I'm going to put it over. I'm never going to use that bit with candle on. So I'm going to put that over there. Or over, I'll do it there. There. Then I'm not wasting as much. Or there. There. I'll get there, don't worry. We can have one straight edge. I need that point gone though. Where I ink the edge. Do you know what? I'm going to stick this on with glue stick. It's only thin. It'll be fine. It'll hold. Then I've not got that glue drama, have I? So I'm tiring of glue drama. Other way around, missus. You've got your fairy upside down. Yeah, that's stuck lovely. And peel that one off. I'm just going to do exactly the same at top at tags. If you can remember what the others look like now. I'm going to put her near the top this time. Yeah, I like that. Right, I'm going to put, oh, do this first. I just took a little bit of the floral paper. And I just folded it over. Do a bit of inking. Because this is rather thin card, if I want to put an eyelet in, it uh, may not. Sometimes they squash and go misshapen, don't they, when you've not got enough card to be putting it through if it's quite thin. So I've just popped a bit. I think I need to cut that down. It's too long. I just pop that over. Then I can punch my hole through there. And I like the look of that little raggedy piece at the top. Raggedy. Raggedy. That were a bit posh. That's a tea where you don't need a tea, raggedy. It's raggedy. Oh, I'm back using art glitter again. I could have used glue stick. There, I just like the look of that bit. I'm going to grab my chomper dial. my hole in. I've got my eyelets out ready. I'm using my favourite dull gold ones. I need to order some more of those. I go through them like no one's business. And just set that. Ooh, I'll tell you what I need to try out on camera. I went and bought one of those. Um, it's by, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's by them. A cricket. Silent Setters. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Right, what I'm putting through the top, when I'm having a tidy out, I found this bag of ribbons that are all, yeah, earthy tones. So I put a bit of brown in one. They're all in a mess, so I'm just chomping a bit off at middle. Not paying any attention to where the end is. And I know what they were, actually. It was a set, and it came from Poundland in the UK. And it were one big, thick stack, like a cardboard roll. And there were loads of different colours on, but it, they were a nightmare to keep wound up properly. So I just took them all off and stuffed them in a bag, never to be seen since. Well, I've found them now, haven't I? Oh, I think I'm going to use this rusty colour as well. That'll be nice. So Lord knows where the end of this ribbon is. And that whole bag full cost a pound, so if I waste some... Yeah. It's not like I'm going to want to be using big full lengths of it anyway. It will get used upon tags and bits. Right, there we have like that. We could perhaps do with a word, couldn't we? Timothy? I've got my Tim Holtz words stashed at side here somewhere. 
Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I've got my Tim Holtz words stashed at side here somewhere. And where is anyone's business? Here we go. I stash that many things. I've got this little space on my shelf that I stash things in so I don't lose them. Yeah. But then you end up with that many things stashed in. Reserved. I don't know why I'm going to put reserved on a fairy. No, very kind hearted because fairies are, aren't they? They're very kind hearted. And I'm not making too much of a feature of this word. I'm just popping it on. There we go. And then I want something there. <laughs> we could put she was a strange little girl. In the garden. That's perfect. In the garden. So there we have our tags. I'll decorate the other two off camera. You don't need to see me decorate more tags. Look at the state of this desk now. It's absolutely horrendous. Right, that's the one I've just made, isn't it? These are my two tags. They fit in there spot on. And I absolutely love this idea. So thank you, Rachel, and thank you, Cheryl, for both doing it. I don't think this is going to be the last time I make these. I mean, you can go to town with decoration, can't you? So, there we have it. Quadruple pocket junk journal inserts. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave all details for those two channels and details for the Your Creative Studio subscription boxes. And I will see you next time. Bye.